Brown with the Outer Banks Chamber. It's always exciting when a, a business reopens, moves to a new location. It looks great in here. I know we all have a shopping list a mile long. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably be here a while. You get 20% off today. That's awesome. Yay. Um, of course, the Outer Banks Chamber is always happy uh, when we get to celebrate a ribbon cutting. We do serve Dare County, Curry Tuck, and Upper Coke Island. Over 1,050 members that you need to reach out to and, and draw them into the store, so lots of opportunity there. I have a few people to introduce this morning. Uh, I have one of our board uh, board members, Mike Fulton, with the Outer Banks Voices here. Mike was here to breathe. <laughs> Now we have several of our ambassadors with us today. Our ambassadors help us out at our ribbon cuttings at all our events. We have Talmadge Davis with Outer Banks Beach Rental and Sales, another brave gentleman. Uh, Courtney Quinlan with Virginia Pilot is here. Tanya Young with Roanoke Island Festival Park. Andy Watson, another brave soul, is here with OBX.com. Carrie Kubine with Homeowners Mortgage, Margaret Welch with GR Little, and Marie Walker with Three Dog Inc. I don't think I missed any of the other ambassadors. So with that, I'm going to introduce, of course, Kevin Zork was here. Kevin had to leave. He has a, a personnel issue he's dealing with, but uh, our fire chief for the town of Nags Head, so he's a great guy. Um, I'm going to introduce Melinda and let her tell you about the story. You can introduce the staff. Um, I'm Melinda Blevin. I'm the manager here. I've been with Dress Barn 30 years. Been down here 25 when we started in this outlet mall. Um, pretty much all my associates are here. We're all in red today because we wear red on Fridays to support our troops that are all deployed. So, um, you know, if you want to join in, we're trying to spread the word around on that. I've um, got Katisha Bryant, Sandy Atkinson, Sandy um, Parks. Gina Booth, Roxanne Jackson, Ruth Pavlovich, Sherry Kelly. Did I miss anybody? We're all in red. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few missing that couldn't get away from their other jobs and their kids and stuff. But um, just a little bit about Dress Barn real quick. We started back in 1962. Um, Mrs. Jaffe, we call her Mrs. J, started the company when women just started going in the workforce. She had three small kids under the age of seven. Um, kind of a little challenging. We were in a two-story building on the second floor. It was 700 square feet, no fitting rooms and no parking on a one-way street. <laughs> now, um, after all those years, we um, are at probably 80,000 employees. Um, we own Justice, Maurice's, Catherine's, Lane Bryant, and we just this month acquired Ann Inc. Company. Um, so big, big, big Corporation, we're under a Cena brand, so if you want to go online and check that out, um, lots of good information. A very family oriented business. Um, obviously, we've, as far as all of my employees, we have 190 years of dress born experience in here. So come see us, we'll help you fit you. <laughs> and I thank everybody for coming. Thank you for having us, we appreciate it.